Hello everyone, this is Game Collector with this week's video review of Transformers Animated Sentinel Prime. Yeah. Here he is in his alt form with a giant hunk of kibble on his back, so... It pegs into his uh, rear, right there. But we're just going to uh, unpeg that and set it off to the side for now. And... Um, in a bit, I'm going to get Optimus Prime for a size comparison for both vehicle and robot modes, just to give you an example of how big this guy is compared to a Voyager class. And, you know, the hero of the show and his arch rival. So, as you can probably tell, he's a... Uh, snowplow truck, which would be good for Detroit, you know, because that's where the show takes place, you know. And I'm saying you know a lot, but, you know, <laughs> I did it again. But there, there he is, but that wouldn't exactly, that would be useful, you know, if he showed up in the winter. Sentinel's not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed. Hell, I can't even say he's the dullest tool in the shed. That's pretty sad. Then again, I don't really like him because he's a jerk. But, aside from his rolling wheels, you can adjust the shovel to go left or right based on the transformation joints in there. Speaking of transformation, let's compare him to Optimus Prime before we do that. You know, if I can get them both on camera at once. Optimus is a fair bit larger. You'd expect that of a fire truck and a snowplow, wouldn't you? So, um, for now, we're going to transform Sentinel here. Starting with, uh, this part. Pull it back. Click it right in there. And those will become the back of his feet, or his heels. Then you pull his legs up, you push the windshield down, make sure his legs are sticking up at a diagonal angle such as that. Now here comes the part that I hate, transforming the arms. First of all, you have to unpeg his arms, which are very cooperative today. And then you have to get that little That peg, yeah, right there, in front of my finger, to fit in one of the holes, any one of the holes in that wheel. Which sometimes can be something of a challenge. And in this case, it's not. I say challenge because it doesn't always want to line up. Now, as I'm transforming him, I'm going to talk about him a bit. He is voiced in the animated series, which is now off the air, but you can catch it in reruns on the Hub. Probably on their website, and probably still catch some of the episodes on YouTube. Um, and other miscellaneous video streaming sites. Um, he's voiced by Townsend Coleman, who originally did the voice of... Oh, man... I should have done the research, and of course I didn't, because rush, 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 everything. Um, I'm pretty sure it was Rewind. Yeah, he did the voice of Rewind, the blue cassette tape. Or was it Eject? I, I don't remember. Crap. Either way, he also did a G1 voice, but he is more famous for doing the voice of another character entirely. And I should raise the camera up. And it's the Tick. You know, blue guy, humongous chin, screams spoon, not that smart. You know, they only finalized Sentinel Prime's character design after they found out who was going to do his voice. Isn't that something? Now, as for that giant thing that I took off of him, this, 
It's his shield and uh, lance. Or sword, if you want to call it that. Because he doesn't really hold it like a lance. Doesn't exactly want to stand up, either. I don't like his heels. And I just peg his legs back together. And just make him lean forward a bit. That'll work. And you can actually make him hold the shield one of two ways. You can have him hold it, hold it straight forward. And I have to raise the camera up a bit more again. Or tilt it to the side. Or you can... Uh, put it to the side and have it like that. Now one of the problems I have with this figure, I don't like his elbows because part of his transformation, if you ever try to straighten his arms out, his arms try to go backwards. Which kind of goes against that because he does technically in a sense have double jointed elbows. Technically. It's just that they don't work in the proper ways that you would appreciate having a double jointed elbow. That aside, he does have a uh, pose ability, of course. The thigh swivel and a ball jointed thigh. Your basic hinged knee, which can actually collapse quite well. You already saw his elbow and his arm. I have to move the shovel out of the way to get his yeah right here his actual shoulder joint is um, right there and it can go 360 degrees around if you have the shovel moved in such a way that it won't impede anything and his head I believe yeah it's on a ball joint but because of the size of his neck he doesn't because of the size of his neck and the um, the large portions next to his head to move the shovels. He doesn't get a lot of neck clearance to turn his head. You have to have him looking up. And even that doesn't really make him look up. It just kind of makes him look forward. Now, as for the height comparison with Prime, who I am going to transform off camera here, though ye, the cam the mic on the camera might pick the sounds up. Sentinel Prime is something of a jerk, and I have his card here, and I am going to put that up while I'm still transforming up. Oh crap! That's right. And this, of course, was made during the Hasbro Super Tape era. So, pause where needed, if needed. You might have to squint. And here are his galactic powers and abilities, and again, because this was the heavy tape era, trying to get that undamaged was almost impossible. Uh, Battle Lance fires energy bolts, is what it's supposed to say. Shield can absorb energy and convert into fuel. Thinks humans and gross and may be contagious. More like was just completely phobic of any organic life ever. So much so that it would kind of debilitate him. Which was funny, considering no one really liked him in the first place. And again, Optimus being his arch-rival something or other. And I'm still transforming him off-camera, so pardon me for making you wait. I may edit this, I may not edit this, whatever. Damn it. Yeah. 
And... Wow. You did not see any of that. Optimus is huge compared to Sentinel, and it's not that Sentinel's short, it's just that he's stout. His shoulders are very, very, very wide. Wider than Optimus. And no, that's not trick perspective there. I am actually trying to line them up. Hell, I could probably put Optimus in front. And you could probably still see. Or not. No, then it is a perspective trick. But yeah, Sentinel is just really wide up top. And his legs aren't exactly all that big. As a matter of fact, in the show, his legs are even smaller. Slenderer, even. And, well, there's not really too much to say about Sentinel, aside from he's a jerk. And, oh, yes, that's right. There is a reference to Sen this particular... Baba ha -ba -ba, can't talk. This particular Sentinel Prime... In, transform in a comic book, Wings Universe, where he is Sentinel Major and one of Cup's superiors when Cup was still young. And he gets to know, he ends up having one of the encounters when Bruticus first appears ever, and he gets squished. The end. Yeah. And no one mourned the loss. If you could actually call that a loss. And so I'm pretty much out of things to say for uh, Sentinel here. So I will see you all next week with another Transformers animated review to finish things off. Later.